This is the Infinite Flow Show. The Infinite Flow Show. The Infinite Flow Show. The Infinite Flow Show. Where hip hop, the gospel, and sports intersect. Gutter, gutter. We finished with the summer. Now it's back to Timberlands, leather grips with the weak colors. Back to mug shots, fighting with these bug cops. Back around the way, it's big bees, cause the bloods pop. What up? Yeah, I'm back on my gully rap. This is hoodie season, cold nights, and a scully hat. Marilla, gangsters and killers. Blasted for some action, and they trapping for figures. Condors at the prison jails, masquerading vicious scales. Order of protection for the witness when the mission fails. Cash rules, this is what they spreading when the streets are teaching lessons, getting high with lethal weapons. The street, I think I call it the Beat metric. It's full of contradictions and lies with weak methods. The burn bridge, the cons will turn snitch. Cause the bulk of the haze of the page will now rip. They tell us not to snitch, man, up and do a bit. Now we looking at some time for crimes we ain't commit. Everybody rail to the pressure, make you squill. Now you run into the devil, spreading lies to make a deal. Rappers spitting daggers and they aiming at the master. They diminishing the stature, yeah. making mockery of pastors. Blast them when we pass them like I hit them with the ratchet. Praying that they see the truth before caskets suck and tragic mathematics. Yeah, it adds up. Next thing you got your hands up to Stuff like the Panthers and Neil during the anthem. Standing and leaving impact. Aliens bring the tin hats. They don't want our thoughts, our voice. We speak it in tracks. In fact, no matter car, small than swiping, I'm pin pads, pen pads, pen and life. Vital signs when we spit that. Yeah, come on, bring it on. Pressure creates diamonds that I'm rocking on my arm. Let me tell you what I mean. I wear my heart on my sleeve. And a heart is worth more than money can ever be. These diamonds ain't you break. Deeper than you or me. We were let to believe that money equals the key. We get it out. Money, power, respect, neglect the consequences Yo. you need a lot. People, people, living in this world. We've been drinking the sunshine for the rain clouds. Diamonds for the pearls. And I know they say, oh, this world is cold. But that's the way it goes. People, people, living in this world. I go to church up on a Sunday and I grab me a pew. Right up in the front with my pastor in view. I listen attentively as he tackles the views. A modern America and the master of Jews, God. And then I think to myself, am I living what he teaching or am I seeking myself? Drifted off up in the service and I was thinking about wealth. How my life will be so much better for the people that help. Right. See, I believe the lie I was told. That the things that we pray would satisfy our souls. But all the money in the world won't pacify our woes. And we don't need dollars to classify our roles. But... Ain't it funny? Money came by time, but we spent time chasing money. So like we'd rather have it rain than days that sunny. Get to the end of our lives for like devils. Ain't it crummy? People, people, living in this world. We've been drinking the sunshine for the rain clouds. Diamonds for the pearls. And I know they say, oh, this world is cold. But that's the way it goes. People, people, living in this world. Four o'clock in the morning, robbing to the beat. Robin to the beat, robin' to the beat. Four, four, four o'clock in the morning, robin' to the beat. Robin' to the beat, robin' to the beat. Four o'clock in the morning, robin' to the beat. Knowing these young boys probably wildin' in the street. Probably wildin' in the street. Four o'clock in the morning, robin' to the beat. Knowing these young boys probably wildin' in the street. In the street. It's four o'clock in the morning, vibing to the beat. Knowing these young boys probably wildin' in the street. Give him a curfew, cause the devil wanna get him. He'll be lost in the days for the purple even hit him. Got that lean in his cup, feeling clean as a mug. Cops show up on the scene, check his jeans for the drugs. I remember he had his team with him. <laughs> Guess his team had to run. Be careful cause your friends can turn the enemies. They heard he had a dream. As soon as the word that hit the streets, the glory he received had turned it into greed. But God got his hand on him. He got a plan, I believe. They hoping that he bleed. I'm just hoping he succeed. There's a harvest on the way. He's supposed to be the seed. Four o'clock in the morning, robbing to the beat. Robbing to the beat. Robbing to the beat. Four, four, four o'clock in the morning, robbing to the beat. Robbing to the beat. Robbing to the beat. Four o'clock in the morning, vibing to the beat. Knowing these young boys probably wildin' in the street. Probably wildin' in the street. Four o'clock in the morning, vibing to the beat. Knowing these young boys probably wildin' in the street. Wildin' in the 
street. Yeah. Hey, when I die, when I be empty, huh? When I lay down in my grave, grave. You think you got cold figured out? Nah, you ain't see me on a bad day. Hey, man, there ain't nothing worse. I question myself in a place that hurt. Life is hard, I'm still learning lessons. Like, why am I to go through hell to get to heaven? I don't know. I just wanna live my life. Grind hard till the day I die, that's all I know. I suppose you want me to lie about life, but the truth be told. Well, that's it for me. All you want is chemistry. I left you behind, you're not history. You want the best of me to get close to me. These memories killing me. Duck to all that used to haunt my yesterdays. Broken memories no longer have to face. Just give me a reason, something to believe in. You've taken my heart. Shattered it to pieces I'm losing grasp of what it used to be I'm looking for someone to help me I'm drowning in my own mind Seems these memories won't let me go Now you're all alone In the dark room with these thoughts in your mind In your mind you're losing your vision, you're feeling yourself because you are so blind To the fact that, that you can't have that, but did you want that? No! I'm fighting myself and I'm losing control, don't know where to go I gave up my life and I don't want it back, what's wrong with that? Surrender my life to you, why am I dealing with stuff from my past? I gotta learn from it, I'm killing these memories, I ain't running I got hit so hard, still got pain from it, I gotta take it to the cross and worship Yeah, yeah, yeah my homies out here, got to see another year And we live in our dreams, we ain't worried about fear Listen up, I gotta make this one thing clear With God by our side, doc, we gon' stand right here So we gon' bounce, 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 bounce yeah, Whole team about that action Bounce, 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 bounce Always focus, no slacking Bounce, 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 bounce Can't recognize what happened Bounce, 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 bounce. up, now get it cracking. Yeah. Tell the team, hold me down. Team, hold me down. Blocking shots at the throne. Every king want the crown. I can rock it like it fitted, it, but it's better on the ground. Only one king can wear it. I know how that sound. Samples for the free. Work for the provider. Give them flows for the free. Ain't no need to be a biter. I'm just looking at my future. Every day is getting brighter. Tell it made to mix the black and the white like designer. Trying to bear witness to the last word. The sentence is the only two in living. Keep my eyes on the prize. Every day improve a vision. Because life is what you make it. Now you got to go and get it. Cash out and spend it on a juice for this banger. Ever leave recruiting up troops for the day. Point me swirl, what's the use for Topanga? The ones that you know treat you like a stranger Every day above ground is another I'm blessed I recognize the joy yeah. and the miss my mess Low man, As we've gone through the book of Revelation As Jesus is speaking specifically to the churches He starts out by indicating where they're at Their, their current state And to this church, he says this I know your works and you have a name of being alive, but you are dead. See, Jesus knows the state of the church and he knows the state of each individual within the church. And oftentimes we try to put, you know, individuals, we try to put on this facade, this perception that we have everything right, that everything is good with us. Oftentimes when you ask someone, hey, how are you doing? How's it going? And Oftentimes, what's their response? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm doing fine. But sometimes they're not doing well. They're not doing fine. They're just telling you that they're well. And they have this facade, this perception. Well, here's the thing. You can think or have this perception that you are spiritually right with the Lord. But God knows your hearts. He knows deeply and intimately if you are walking with him or if you are not. This church, the church of Sardis, they tried to make it seem as though they were spiritually, morally, ethically right with the Lord. But the Lord says, you have a name of being alive, but you are dead. And that's just what Jesus is saying is this, you are destitute of life. You have not truly submitted your life unto me. And here's the thing. God does not want a half-hearted attempt to serve him. He wants all of you. He doesn't want just a portion of you. He doesn't want you just to submit a portion of your life unto him. He wants every aspect of your life submitted unto him. And see, as Jesus is writing it, you think about this. 
Jesus is writing to churches, right? And so he's writing to the community of God, but the community of God is made up of what? Of individuals that compose the church. And so as we're reading this, we need to understand that God is speaking to the church entire, but he's also speaking and pointing out to each individual that you make up and compose the church. And so therefore you, As an individual, you need to make sure that you are not just serving me half heartedly, but you need to serve me in totality. You need to serve me holistically. And if each individual does that, then what happens? Then the whole church will serve God holistically in totality. They will be able to have an impact on the communities that they find themselves in. They will be able to in totality, uh, present an example of what it means to live holy, what it means to live righteously, what it means to submit myself unto the Lord. And so Jesus says, I know your works, church of Sardis, and you are dead, spiritually dead. And see, I pray for us this morning that we would not be like this church. We wouldn't be someone who, or an individual who presents themselves one way, but deep down, you are far from the Lord. The Infinite Flow Show, where hip-hop, the gospel, and sports intersect. NBA All-Star Weekend and the last couple of weeks leading up to the All-Star Weekend have been uh, pretty interesting in regards to the NBA. We've had a lot of things that have uh, occurred. Um, Recently, you had the Charles Oakley versus James Dolan. Uh, Charles Oakley, who previously played for the Chicago Bulls when Michael Jordan was there, and then he played for the New York Knicks, and he had a run-in with the current New York Nick owner James Dolan. So we had that issue and it doesn't seem like it's been resolved. Oakley has doubled down and he says he's not going to go back there for three, four, five years. And he felt betrayed by Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, and just a, it's a hot mess. Uh, but we also have had recently the issue with Russell Westbrook and KD, Kevin Durant. And it doesn't seem like there's any love loss there as well with seems Russell is a little upset that KD left. And I'm not sure if it's just that he left, but that he didn't communicate that he was going to leave. I guess supposedly Kevin Durant told Russell Westbrook that he was going to come back to the Oklahoma City Thunder. And we all know how that turns out or turned out that he did not go back to Oklahoma, but instead decided to sign with the Golden State Warriors and the Warriors are having a fantastic year. Russell Westbrook is playing well individually, singularly by himself. He's, you know, averaging a triple double. And if he continues on, I kind of hope he does it just to, just to see it. But, um, you know, even with, you know, the significant numbers that he's putting up his team, you know, the Thunder are okay, but they're, they're not going anywhere. Let's just be realistic. So it doesn't seem like there's any love loss there. And then I was reading some information about uh, Charles um, Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan. And they used to be the tightest of friends. They used to have a really good relationship. And it doesn't seem like their their relationship is where it was previously, as, as stated by uh, Charles Barkley. It seems that Charles, when... Uh, when the uh, Charlotte Hornets weren't doing well, weren't performing well, that Michael Jordan, uh, I'm sorry, Charles Barkley, kind of said some things in regards to uh, Jordan's ownership and his capabilities and how the team was performing. And if you know Michael Jordan, as competitive as he is and the fact that he doesn't want anybody to doubt what he can and cannot do, it seems that he uh, he took offense to some of the 
the statements that Charles had in regards to his, uh, you know, the ownership that Jordan, the ownership team, I should say, that Jordan was leading, how the team was doing. He, Charles Barkley felt like he should put some other people around him so that they could be more successful. He needed to draft better. He needed to, you know, uh, get some folks in regards to free agent. He really needed to do a better job there. And so, you know, Jordan took offense to it. Here's the thing. I, I would say this. Um, in a bigger picture, bigger scheme, all of this stuff really doesn't mean much. I mean, the, everybody wants to do well and perform well basketball wise, but here's the thing that I would say that's more important friendship. See, friendship to me means everything because once you finalize your basketball career, you know, you get later on in life, none of this stuff is going to make a difference. You're not going to remember per se, you know, you know, Kevin Durant leaving Oklahoma and going to to uh, Golden State, you know, you might hold hold that to a certain extent and say, man, if he had stayed. But in the scheme of things, it really doesn't mean very much. However, friendship, that means everything. Friendship lasts for a lifetime. It lasts for the time after you play basketball. And once you retire, you, the friendship, those are the things that you're going to remember. I always, people always ask me, I play college football and college baseball. People always ask me this. Do you, and shortly, I should say, when I, shortly after I graduated, hadn't been playing, you know, three, four years, people say, oh, do you miss it? Do you miss playing football? Do you miss playing baseball? And yeah, I missed it. But the things that I missed the most were the friendships and the camaraderie and, and being in the locker room and roasting guys and telling jokes and, you know, guys doing funny things or saying funny things. Those are the times and the moments that I miss the most and just reminiscing about those things. Those are the things that, you know, I'll take with me forever. Yeah. You might remember some things, you know, on the football field or the baseball field, but again, the friendships, those are things that are last for eternity. And, you know, I think about even some of the guys that I still communicate with, you know, 25, almost 30 years later, I'm still friends with those guys. And so I pray that for Jordan and Barkley for Russell Westbrook and KD, Kevin Durant, I pray that they're able to reunite and really become friends again. You know, forget about, you know, what he said, what he did. Forget about all that stuff. Think about what does it mean to truly be a friend and how can we rekindle our friendship? The Infinite Flow Show, where hip hop, the gospel, and sports intersect. And so, at verse 2, this is what he states So, wake up, strengthen what remains, and is on on the point of death for I have found or have not found your works perfect in the sight of my God. He says, wake up. See, you have been in essence in slumber mode. Wake up. You need to arise, become alert because if you don't, you will fall into sin. See, throughout the scriptures, the scriptures uh, will encourage individuals to wake up, to arise, to do those things that you should be doing. Because if you don't follow the Lord, if you're not willing to submit your life unto the Lord, you know what will happen? You will fall into sin. You will fall unto right, un, fall into unrighteousness and unrighteous ways. And so that's why we need to be alert. See, the world that we live in is constantly pounding against us, trying to get us to fall into sin, to compromise. Again, that's why 
as a family, my personal family, we're always talking about in 2 Thessalonians 3.13, it says what? Do not be weary in doing what is right. Don't be weary because you can find yourself falling asleep, falling into compromise, getting tired of doing what is right. And so if we truly want to be the people of God, we can't be weary. We can't compromise. We have to wake up, get out of slumber mode, get up out of the bed and do what is right. Because it's easy to fall into sin. It's easy to take one little step and then one more step and then one more step. And then next thing you know, you're in full bloom, unrighteousness, sinfulness. And so what is Jesus saying to the church? Wake up and strengthen what remains. In essence, he's saying this, make constant your mind regarding that which remains. Wake up and set your mind and focus on doing what is right. Focus on that. I was talking about this to my children. I said, man, your focus needs more focus, right? We need to focus and do those things that is right. And that's the same thing that God is saying here. Listen, church, your focus needs more focus. You are at the point of death. And therefore, you need a spiritual transformation. You need to change. And by the way, what you are doing, I am not pleased. You can, you can put on this facade and this perception and other individuals might not be able to see deep down how you are, but I see it and I am not pleased. I am not pleased with the way you are leading your life. I'm not pleased at how you are living within the community community of God. I'm not pleased in how you are representing me to the outside or those who are outside the community of God. Your lives are foul within my sight. And see, you need to, if you are truly the church, if you are truly a representative of me, you need to be filled with the Spirit. You need to be expressing faith and hope and love truthfully. That is a representative and an ambassador for God. But the way you are living your life is not a representative. Another year, another year, another year. And we live in our dreams, we ain't worried about fear. We ain't worried about fear. Listen up, I gotta make this one thing clear. With God by side, doc, we gon' stand yeah. right here, so we yeah. Sacrificial agape that truly cherished love From the hands of the Father ordained from up above That pain easier when night speed and that flames lethal For eye pleasers who can't invade our love keep up Yeah, you got my name embedded in your heart Vice versa, get the memo with a dedo and a spark Guess they plotting our demise from the series of the talks Guess they flaunting, trying to spy, but we'll cover cause of God Less than less stress when she's with me So I never want to part Like the Browns bobbing with me Get to fussing in discussions with haters Cause some envy hit the streets Trying to breathe well together like a sick me I, Yeah, want good seasons for a reason Want to treat you like a queen Cause you've been there through my grief Want to cover you with love Selflessness and never scheming Want to see you live your dream Just stay silent when succeeding Yeah and crashed Would you be the one To bring me back Cherish me back But not everyone Finds something that Yo. To my ways on a Monday. I know I cannot do this on my own. I'm praying God you never leave me alone. Heal from a cinnamon. You gotta need you at the cinnamon. Please heal from a cinnamon. You gotta need you at the cinnamon. 
friend. Yeah, yeah. We go to church on Sunday, raise our hand to God. Hallelujah. Then we leave thinking I'll never leave this high. Amen. Until that fella see that shorty walking by in the gym. Now he trying to practice bouncing other eyes on oh, me. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Vision went from so clear to human nature giving in a blessing saying, no oh, well. It's more apparent every day I need this grace Cause I will never know the price it costs to take my place You hear it from a brother who no longer doing it solo I couldn't carry the tune, I was coming up short like Frodo So I ain't no better or no worse than you And I don't know how to fake it, I miss rehearsal too Man, I know I changed my ways last Sunday Go back into my ways on the Monday I know I cannot do this on my own I'm praying God you never leave me alone Hear from a cinnamon. You gotta need you at the cinnamon. Please hear from a cinnamon. You gotta need you at the cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. Part of me being tardy. Me being too off, she got me late for the party. My flow so bow tie. I owe y'all a refined dose of clothes lines and round houses. Lyrically. I've been eating, y'all been sleep. I creep in and yank sheep. Toss through veins in a rude way. Well, God bless them if they try and dog check them. First born to a teacher, I buy my mom's lessons. Vocabulary so fab that every time I rhyme, you already know the track's getting buried. Guess I'm very much a Christian, but at 6'5", I can't help but to look down at competition. High brown, low blow. I'm sure that made somebody cut the track like, no, no. You hear the brand of garbage kids are listening to? I, I be pursing my lips when I'm sifting through. Somebody's lack of skill plus some yes men might end up in somebody missing out on their blessing. Without getting mad, let me be honest. Write down a sermon, speak at some colleges. You probably mean well and have some knowledge, but I'm pretty certain that won't stop you from sounding garbage. Somewhere on Rapzilla comments got so bitter. Somewhere in Boston they say that's the old spitter. I'm a fly man that's had some stumbles. And with life's lessons, I'm humble. Just an arson type receiving a new blessing. New styles, ego flexing and suplexing. I'm just rapping, y'all. But feel good to be back in the game, don't it? Yeah. Lord, don't move that mountain. Yeah. Lord, don't move that mountain. Keep me there, God. Don't move that mountain if you think it's for the best of me. Yeah. Lord, don't move that mountain. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't move that mountain. Lord, don't move that mountain if you think it's for the best of me. Yo, and I'ma call till God pick up the landline. Never gon' put a sock in it for mankind. The steps sorted, but I struggle on the landmine. Steady trying, pick the right bubble on the scantron. Wax poetic with the track pro ethic. But the number two sometimes stump the gully opus. Spat facts, prophetic on the track show effort pray to god in the back out slump like scoliosis god hold me to plow in the standard of christ because you have made me a vow and exposed me to light i'm on the web the boy's kind of nice but now i'm fishing for souls when i'm holding the mic please god take my tears and take my fears take my shame because i ain't trying to say no name but yours i know the thorns there the kid ain't dumb i got 99 problems being his ain't one but lord lord don't that mountain, yeah. Lord, don't move that mountain. Keep me there, God. Lord, don't move that mountain if you think it's for the best of me. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, don't move that mountain. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't move that mountain. Lord, don't move that mountain if you think it's for the best. Guess of I see me. the vision clearer than I ever had in my whole life. The hard times made me fight just to touch the mic. The damn talk helped me pray and adjust my sight. Is beyond the hate. I don't need your approval to be content. I don't need your approval to be content. This is that all around classy type of flow. This is that all around classy type of flow. No apologies for the philosophies I'm serving gourmet. That food for your thoughts, you might export another taste. My greatest testimonies came from a dark place. Then God turned the light on like the fireplace. Had me 
stun, I stone cold, but it's stun a face. Had my heart changed up, that's a saving grace. Gave hope to a blind man seeking clues. Gave vision to a visionary dream story. So my hypothesis is justified through faith and truth. Cargo in the trunk, I got a pass, but you do too. Been forgiven for the bad, so that's old news. I'm aiming for your soul transparency, that's see through. Walking with the maker of the universe, believing God when I face doubt like for my works. No, my works won't get me on the cloud, but they work. Many lives being transformed in another yes, I see the vision clearer than I ever had in my whole life. The hard times help me fight just to touch the mic. The damn talk help me pray and adjust my sight. Fail hope in my purpose is beyond the height. I don't need your approval to be content. Thank you for listening to this episode of our podcast. We will have new episodes every two weeks, so come back and join us for the Infinite Flow Show, where hip-hop, the gospel, and sports intersect.